Hey, this is Rajeshwari and welcome back to Literature Class. Thank you so much for all your love. Today, I will be discussing the poem Advice to Women by Eunice T. Souza. First, I would like to talk about the title of the poem and then I will move on to the analysis and conclusion. But before that, let me tell you, the most general theme of Eunice T. Souza's work is the denial of women's patriarchal traditions. And her main concern is for plight of numerous Indian women across different contexts, whether it's a maid, a daily wage worker, or an isolated housewife. Now let's see what does the title signify. The title signifies that the poet Eunice Jesusa is giving advice for women, and that advice is to keep cats as pet because cat leads a very independent life. They are not bound to anyone or anything. They have very strong sense of self and dependence that they live by, and so the poet is telling women the same that that's what you also need to do. You need to be independent for strong sense of self in order to live in this patriarchal society. So that you are not brought down by whatever society says or tells you to do. Basically, she is saying to have your own separate independent life from your husband, from your family. So that even if your married life is not going as you hoped it would, uh, you have your own life to come back to. So you do not need to depend on anyone in order to lead a fulfilling life. And that is what she is saying for women to be like cats. Now, let's move on to analysis and conclusion. Keep cats if you want to learn to cope with the otherness of lovers. Here, otherness means disinterest, unconcerned. So, poet Eunice Jusa is giving advice for women that if they want to learn how to cope with the otherness of lover, then they should keep cats as pet because cats pay attention and importance to themselves. And if you have ever noticed them, you must have came across their unconcerned and detached behavior. You know, the way they enjoy themselves and feel proud of, the, uh, proud of themselves. So, the poet is saying that a woman's behavior and attitude towards her lover should be exactly like cats. The woman should have patience like cats in order to cope with the otherness of lovers and in order to survive in this patriarchal society as well. Now, pay attention to these lines. Otherness is not always neglect. Cat return to their litter trays when they need to. Here, she advises women to tolerate the otherness of their lover. Because otherness does not always mean neglecting you. It could also indicate the unconcerned behavior and attitude of the lover. And by the way, everything has a reason behind it. So is the otherness of lovers, okay? And you know, otherness seems to be the chief concern in this poem. And here, litter tray are container which hold dry material called litter that is used as toilet by animals while they are indoors. So the line, cat return to their litter trays when they need to, indicates that men will return to their beloved when they need her. Because woman plays a major role in men's life. And you know, men thought that women have the quality of being generous. That uh, women have that generosity to accept and absorb all the views of men. And uh, they think by that generosity, they can win their lovers in the end. But as per my view, why there is a need of being generous? Why there is a need to win your lover? If your lover loves you in the same way as you do, they will stay with you. Even if they are showing disinterested and unconcerned behavior due to some reasons, uh, women might be agree with some views of men, but there is no need to accept all the views of men being generous to them because uh, women are also human just like men. So uh, they have their own views and perception. Now, look at this line. Don't cuss out of the window at their enemies. Here, cuss out means to shout offensive words at someone when they annoy or irritate you, you know. And metaphorically, those enemies are, of course, social criticizers and external vices that try to interfere in your domestic peace. Uh, and through this image, the poet advises women to solve their problem between them within the domestic walls. So uh, basically, she means that it is unwise to make your personal problem public. Uh, now, in the last lines of the poem, poet says, 
that stare of perpetual surprise in those grey green eyes will teach you to die alone. Here, the phrase perpetual surprise means cat have a unique kind of look. Their wide open eyes look as if they are surprised at things happening around them. And the great green eyes is of course refers to eyes of cat. So poet is saying that women should know how to handle their pain, their suffering and still carry surprise in their eyes. And in this concluding lines, the poet perhaps instruct the womankind to build up a world of their own where all sorrow will become less important. These lines points out the loneliness of human existence and the need to accept it as a fact that we are all born alone and we are going to die alone on this earth. And so between the, you know, two poles of birth and death we have to fight alone to survive so the poet insists that all women should possess these qualities so that they doesn't carry the fear of existing alone and dying alone and when women will be able to gather this indifference and unconcerned attitude they will be happy so this poem mainly deals with the woman's situation in our patriarchal society. Through this poem, D'Souza wants to make women aware about the pain that they have received from others. So she urges her female readers to be as happy with themselves as cats are. And she encourages women to look at cats as model while being treated unworthy, unfairly and unwanted. So, and you know, the cat itself often presents a duality in symbolism. First, it has long been associated with fertility and healing. And uh, it also symbolizes darkness and a cold sense of detachment. And, you know, uh, here the poet's confessional mode reveals the insecurity of her mind. And she seems to be yearning for peace and comfort uh, at the price of her inner and suppressed desires. Hey, tan -tana. I would love to know your thoughts on this video, whether am I able to make you understand or not, okay? So, kindly comment below and hit the like button and do subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video.